I really think this is about to be the start of a good one for you guys today. I'm all packed up and about to head out of Kentucky on my way down to the center of Georgia for the Peaches to the Beaches Highway Route yard sale. Now, not only are we going back to this for a second year in a row, but I'm also going to meet up with two of my favorite pickers. It's been almost two years since I have picked with Matt over at Part Time Pickers, so I'm meeting up with him and my buddy Paul, the Philly Flipper, who actually picked this route sale with me last year. Now, before we get going, I'm about to run in for some car ride snacks at the Epic Crumble Cookie. Hashtag not sponsored. If you want to sponsor me, hit me up. You guys see what this is all about? Yes. Okay, so I have about a seven hour drive. Let's see how far or how long these cookies last me. It's going to be quite torturous smelling these the whole way down there. You guys think I'll make it with any left in tow? Not today, Goodwill. Not today. So as you guys see, there's like trees all down on the side of the road. I'm about to pull in this driveway for two seconds. I have only been on the road for like five minutes. You guys see my mirror? So there was a crazy windstorm a couple of days ago with like 70 mile per hour winds. And there was just a branch hanging out of a tree. And so I just barely tapped this little branch that was hanging out in the road. Oh man, it actually took off the outer piece of my mirror. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go back because I'm not trying to, jeez, that stinks, you guys. Look, I literally haven't even been gone for, okay, six minutes, six minutes down the road. And now I'm about to backtrack. I really hope that I can find this piece of my flipping mirror. That really stinks so bad. Oh, here we go, let's backtrack. Okay, it's in the middle of the road. I'm so thankful it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that branch. Oh, it's my finger messed it up. But you guys see that branch coming up from the ground up right there sticking out in the road? That's what just got us. I can't take the time to put this on right now because I'm in this little road. But I'm super excited that I at least got this piece back and it doesn't look too scratched. Well, I wasn't expecting for this to be my first adventure on this route cell, losing a part of my mirror, but you guys, like there are trees down everywhere. So it looks like there's only like the tiniest little scratch. Um, when you guys see this branch, you're gonna understand how I hit it. It was coming up from the ground, not hanging out of the tree. So I don't think anybody else would have even noticed. I don't know how this goes. Oh, is it snaps back on that easy? Oh, oh, it just pops back on. Okay, easy, easy money. But that is a little unfortunate, but I think that will just buff out. Little, little bit of scratches, but in the grand scheme of things, like look, do you guys see this house I just so happened to be turned around it? Can you all see like all of those trees down back there? I wanna see if there's no cars coming, I'm gonna try and show you all the branch that I just hit. Gosh, they really need to um, get that out of the road before it takes off somebody else's mirror. Are you the one? Nope, you're not the one. Where are you at, Branch? Came out of nowhere, let me tell you. Honestly, oh, there it is right there. So you guys see that? Bad baby, that little guy sticking up right there. Super lucky that that is all that it did, just taking off that back piece instead of my whole mirror. So anyways, let's head on down the road. Uh-oh, guys, we're officially a little over 100 miles in. Tennessee welcomes me, baby. Dang, I should have stopped at that welcome center. You guys know with my bladder, I have to go to welcome the bathroom. Welcome to Tennessee. And you can tell I'm surrounded by the beautiful mountains. Now I just need to find somewhere that has a salad and a bathroom. And I have already went up 12 degrees in temperature. High in Lexington today was like 54 and the high just south of Atlanta is 84. You guys see this amazing view? I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see through these trees, guys. I love this drive. You all probably can't tell, but I'm going straight up right now into the mountains. I officially made it to somewhere in the Chattanooga area. I made it 188 miles before I had to stop for a pee bait. Pre, pee, gosh, I can't even talk. Pee break. I've been holding it literally for almost an hour because there was a Chick-fil-A on my route. So y'all know what time it is, time for some Chick-fil-A and to go to the bathroom, finally. I gotta make up for these cookies somehow. Grilled chicken and fruit cup. All right, we got some Chick-fil-A. Now we're getting some gas in the car. By the way, thank you Tennessee for having gas at $2.99 a gallon. I thought Kentucky gas was cheap at like $3.29 right now, but um, I'll take $2.99 any day of the week. Wow, you can tell I've been wearing some sunglasses the whole time and I've been like sweating. I don't know about you guys, but interstate driving is stressful. I've been like 
dripping in sweat the whole time. Probably TMI, but eh. Ooh, there's the Georgia sign! We officially made it to Georgia! I don't know why I'm screaming, I welcome guess I'm Welcome to excited. Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. Yes, welcome to Georgia! Here we go! All right, we are finally about to the Atlanta area, and as Keep normal- Keep right to stay on I-75 South. I don't think I've ever been through Atlanta where the traffic has not been like this. Ooh, I see Continue the sign for, for half bacon. a mile. Making some bacon in Georgia. We went there last year for the trout sale. All right, you guys, do you see that estate sale today? So I'm on my way to my Airbnb and I just accidentally stumbled across all these estate sale signs that are pointing in this really nice neighborhood. Lake, what does that say? Lake Dow North. And there's literally lakes on both sides of the street. And this neighborhood looks super, super nice. So hopefully it's not an old sign. I mean, there's a lot. There's another estate sale sign there. I'm thinking with all these estate sale signs and them being like company professional estate sale signs that maybe this estate sale will actually be here. And I mean, it is 2.58 right now. So what are the chances they have good stuff left? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Oh my gosh. So all those cars on the street up there are a good sign. I bet this sale is still going on. Holy cow. You see the cars all the way down the whole street. What house is having the estate sale? Oh, right there. Oh, right on the lake too. My, dang. My exposure's all wonky. That is a huge house. And look at all these cars. So I wasn't actually supposed to start picking until tomorrow so the fact that i have a bonus estate sale to go into right now is really exciting this house is literally insane you guys and lots of people carrying lots of stuff out that's a good sign Jeez. oh my gosh all this bamboo furniture sorry and the bamboo couches. Dang. Oh man, if I was closer to home, that one is amazing. Lace linens. Oh, that one's really nice too. Retail originally was 80 and lower to 40. It's got like needlework and lace cutouts. That is super nice. Quaker lace. Is this like actual made by the Quakers? Fun fact, I used to work at Shakertown, which was an old establishment of, well, originally a Quaker establishment. Wow. And it's from Pennsylvania. So this is where the last standing Quakers before they passed away lived. This has to be worth some big money. It was originally 20 bucks. That has to be good. None of these have prices though. And all the other prices here are kind of crazy. Ooh, that's nice too. Where was this one made? I can't see in this little corner. I've got a glare. I think I'm going to take all of those and see how much they are at least. I'm a little bummed out that I'm far away from home though with that shelf. Oh, I like this little tiki totem thingy. 10 bucks. I think I want that for myself. Boma. Hand painted. Made in Canada. That's kind of cool. I don't know what this is worth, but I can see this sitting in my house right now. So I'm gonna take that too. And I will find out how much these are. This couch set is a straight blast from the past, though. Oh my gosh. Actually, this whole set. I kind of like these two, minus like the glass tops, but their prices are nuts. So it's $250 just for the coffee table. And then each of these side tables are $175 each. And then that piece right there is $250 also. Let's just check out what's in here really quick before we go back to the rest of the house. $50 bucks for those. Dang. So I was just looking through this little drawer of like old golf stuff and this is super cool like Polo Ralph Lauren golf tees. Let me see if I can open this up. And again, this doesn't have prices. Oh, one-handed. I don't have my GoPro on yet. 
these have the little symbols on the end. It's super cool. I'm about to look into these really quick and see just so I know if they give me a crazy price to put them back. So I'm gonna look them up really quick. Okay, so I just looked up these little golf tees and it looks like there was a comp for 15 and a comp for 30, but they weren't like the different color um, sets like what's in this box. So I'm gonna hope for the best on these. Not quite sun and flash. Do you really? <laughs> I'm like, she's not, she's not here. She's not in Georgia. <laughs> I walk by and I walk back. Oh my I gosh. You all the time. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. What are you doing in Georgia? Um, we're, I'm down for the peaches to the beaches route sale. That is so funny. Yeah, like, I wasn't planning on shopping and I just drove by and saw the estate sale sign. Well, so I'm like filming with like, my phone right now. That is not homeschooling. <laughs> There's no way she's in Georgia. <laughs> well, so what was your name? I'm Holly. Holly, it's really nice to meet you. Nice um, so these little Kodak film strips look like they're someone for like 30 bucks with free shipping. So I'm going to take both of those too. Oh my gosh. Check these out. If these are vintage sanity, I have pants almost identical to these. These are like super early 2000s. And they are sanity. They're good size too. I bet these are good. I have no idea how much they are though. It seems like everything I'm picking up doesn't have a price. So it looks like there's a sold comp for these jeans for like 75 bucks. So even if they're overpriced to like some of the other jeans on there, like 15 or 20 bucks, I think they'll still be worth it. And it's like a blast straight from my past. So the majority of this house is seriously out of my element. There's so much like fine glassware and porcelain just all over the place and extremely nice furniture. What are these? Paint main bedside garage ref set. I don't even know what those are. This house is so fancy. Look at those curtains. Let me see if I can show you guys the view. Oh, you can't see it. That's the front. This whole space is just a dressing room. It's literally like a wraparound dressing room that goes all the way around. This house is bougie. And look at the chandelier. And that blanket, it's like velvet. These towels, oh my gosh though. Okay, these would be really valuable, but 25 bucks each, 15 for the hand towels and $10 for the wash rags. I know these are valuable, but I'm just curious if they're even marked. Oh, the Avanti look, 1978 by Avanti. Like, I know that this style is valuable, but I can't imagine they'd be worth paying that much for. I mean, at least resale was. Hmm. Is there anything in this one? Oh, there is. There is stuff in every single little nook and cranny. So many closets and so much stuff. How people have this much stuff to fill these closets. Ooh, I have sold this same exact blanket before. It's a nice satin weave for 10 bucks. Like, honestly, I don't want to fill up my car already because I'm, like, this was an accidental estate sale that I ran across. And I have all weekend of yard sales. But, yeah, I want to say I sold this exact same one for, like, 50 bucks. Cannon Royal over sales. Two King pillowcases. That looks fancy as can be too. I'm going to look this one up really quick. So it looks like um, these pillowcases last sold on a bid for $30. So I would think I'd be able to get a little bit more for that. But again, it doesn't have a price. It's so weird that I have this bag full of stuff and none of it has prices. But the majority of everything I picked up has prices and it's crazy. Actually, do I have one thing that has a price? I don't think I have one thing yet. I have stuff waiting on the table outside, and then I have this stuff, so I guess we'll see how bad the damage is, if it's even worth getting any of this stuff. Ooh, it's tight squeeze on here. It's a tight squeeze. Dang, everything in here is so fancy and so much glass. You're what? Jeez, look at that. Framed original oil painting signed by M. Blanco, $12.50. It's nice. So much glassware all over this place. Can you fit? I'll scoot this out of your way. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Much. Is that enough clearance That's there? Enough. All right, great. Yes, Perfect. You. You're very welcome. 
She's adjusting. There you go. <laughs> My favorite room of the house, but it's full of fancy, smancy glassware. Ooh, that's somebody's. That's somebody's. This looks like Tervis's. Circus Carnival. Interesting. I think the flower's probably long gone. This estate sale started like six hours ago. I just accidentally happened to be driving by the um, a sign and decided to stop. Wait till you guys see this backyard and what's in it. How cute was he? Check this out though, you guys. There's my other sheets down there on that table. How about this area though, you guys? This house is just massive and fancy as all get out. Absolutely insane. The amount of glassware in this place. And the furniture is so nice. Rosewood glass curved case is 1400 bucks. Look at all this. This is so out of my element, but how fancy. Like these were some highfalutin folks. Oh, this is their little bar. Gosh dang. I haven't seen anything like that. Authentic Venetian Murano. I don't even know how to say that. Trifocio? Trifuachi? Trifici. No clue. Wine glasses. 24 karat gold trim. Hand painted for 400 bucks. Dang. I guess all of that is like that. That's insane. And are these little shot glasses? I guess so. The low, low price of five fifty. Twenty four karat. Why do they need so much? Holy cow! This house is fancy, smancy overload. This is the only thing I believe it has a price. Sorry, oh, were you doing math? Yeah. Shh. 17, that is not 30 dollars. 20 dollars in, 20 dollars here. What else? Anything it was else? just this, and did you get this guy? Yeah. yeah. And this bag is empty. I was just using it okay. to carry this stuff. $27. Sounds good. Now, cash or credit? Um, I'll do cash. There we go. Great. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you guys do like 50% off day after a certain amount of day? Or? We do. We try to do it. Uh -huh. um, and hopefully we'll be going down tomorrow. Okay. But we have... I know I don't even know who our client is in this. Oh, okay. I don't and yeah, we have to ask. So. Yeah. So is this the first day of yep. the sale? Okay. That's why everything's going full price. Yeah, yeah. I just got lucky and was driving by and saw the sign. We try to keep our prices low low enough anyway. We have about I'd say one in three of our customers are dealers. Oh, okay. So we have to keep it open for the dealers. Yeah, for sure. There's still so much good stuff left this time of day. <laughs> That's so much. So cool. I know. It's crazy. The dressing rooms or closets, I should say, are insane enough. We haven't even had the, the clothes go through here yet. Oh really? Well not not on this side. It's I don't know what they're doing up front. But, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, oh geez. Yeah, I would have been sad. That's my favorite. You would have been back in about two, 30 seconds. I would have. So I was almost back to my Airbnb and I just passed what? Yet yeah, another thrift store. So we're going to run in here and see if we can find anything else really quick to end the day. After that bonus estate sale, why not? 
So it looks like this is more of like a discount store than it is like a thrift store. Like it's just a lot of bulk type stuff like this. And I also noticed a sign up front that said they have an eBay store and a Poshmark store. So I don't think that I'm going to find anything here. But I did just pass a Salvation Army that I was going to backtrack to anyways. So I'm just going to head over there now. All right, let's try this again with the Salvation Army and hope it's better than the last one. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, at least this is an actual thrift store. And it's a lot nicer than my Salvation Army. My local ones only have clothes, no hard goods whatsoever. So I was just going through the purses and I found this, I thought it was a Carhartt purse at first, but it's actually like an electrician's pouch with like a special Home Depot and Major League Soccer, which is kind of random. So I looked it up and there is a sold comp for 40 bucks, but it does not have the Major League Soccer on the front. So I'm not sure if that's like, I mean, it's perfectly centered. So it doesn't look like it was an actual addition that somebody put on themselves, but um, I couldn't find the comp for this exact one. It's priced at 10 bucks. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I get it or should I leave it? I think I'm just gonna hold on to it for a second and think about it while I keep looking. I'm not picking these up, but this is slightly unfortunate. These are priced at 4 dollars each for these two like dinosaur plaques. And I just paid 20 bucks a piece for those at Hobby Lobby for Kinsley's dinosaur bedroom at her dad's house. Isn't that how it works? So I was just going through this little shoe section here and I came across these little Nike Metcons. And these are sometimes pretty decent, but unfortunately these are priced at, where's the price at? Oh, they're $9.99. And these specific model only sells for like 30 bucks. So I'm not gonna pay $10 for those cause they're dirty and you know, 10 bucks. But some of these Metcons sell for upwards of like 50 plus. So I just try to look them up every time I come across a pair. Probably sold like two good pairs in the history of ever though. So I don't know, hit or miss, I guess. This looks like a little cow fawn. What's that say? Oh, eight inch omelet pan. It's $4.99 though. It's probably only worth like 15 or 20 bucks. Maybe for the yard sale. I do think I'm gonna. I don't want to, but I think I'm going to put this back. I think the major looks like it's going to make it a hard sell. You guys tell me. Wrong decision or right decision? This little bell is super cool. Is that? It's this little, little tiki guy. Oh, and it says Aloha. Oh, and Hawaii. It's solid brass, too. That's kind of cool. Normally, the little souvenir bells are not worth anything but this is like actual heavy brass so i just looked up this little tiki bell and there aren't any listed or sold but considering it's like heavy duty brass and priced a dollar 99 i would probably just buy this and list it for like 20 bucks but the craziest find is this optimum oil therapy it's like discontinued i only looked it up because it's 2004 but you guys are not going to believe it this sells for 69.99 for this little thing of literal it's oil cream moisturizer and it's priced at only a dollar 99 so that's going to be the real winner of this salvation army i'm glad i finally found something better than this little bell but I mean, heck, I'll take them both. Profit's profit, right? And they're both super easy shippers. And service. Service. How cool are these little Southwestern, like, napkin rings? We got some cactuses that are, what is that, brass? And some cute little coyotes. I'm going to have to open this up and check these out. Okay, look at these cute little coyotes. Are those not so cute with a little scarf? These are like a really thin, lightweight nickel. And it looks like a set of four of these last sold for like $15. But check out these brass cactus napkin rings. These are super cool. And a set of these last sold for 20 bucks. And there's more, there's more than four of both of these in here, but it's priced at $7. So I'm still thinking about it. What's that? 70 into at least 30, 70, seven into at least like $35. I need to count these and see how many there actually are before I make it. Happen. You guys are getting a lot of my thinking process today. Okay, so there's actually six of these little brass cactuses in there, and I just checked the comps again, and it looks like the sets of six are selling for around twenty or twenty-five dollars, but all with best offers on there, which obviously means less than twenty bucks. And then, being that those only sold for fifteen dollars. I think I'm going to leave them behind since they're $7. So this recruit hat, I think it's like an army recruit. 
made in USA. I have sold the same exact hat. I want to say for like $19.99. And they said their hats are 99 cents. So I think I'm going to pick that up too. And then this one looks kind of interesting. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't know what it is. So I'm going to look this up really quick. Because it's made in the USA. So that's the only reason why. I'm look oh, this one's priced at $3.99, not $0.99. Cents. So that makes me even more inclined to think it's good. Or well, they probably just know made in USA is good too. And then one last one, this one right here, NYPD Bomb Squad with a little tie on there. That looks pretty cool too. Luna Basics though. I don't know. I might, well, not I might. I'm going to look these two up really quick. So I found a different variation of this hat that had like a maroon bill that I sold for $25. And honestly, this one looks pretty good, but it's priced at $4. So... I don't know. I need to think about this one for a second. I need to stop hitting record before I decide. And then this one, there's no comps for none listed or none sold. But that is super cool, so I think I'm going to buy this one either way. This one, I'll get back to you on. Okay, so after looking over this one a little closer, there is a little bit of like black stuff on the top. It's a really cool hat, but since it's priced at $3.99, I guess I'm going to leave it behind since I would have to clean it really well. And it's a maybe at $24.99. I don't know. It's really cool. Shall I shall not? Don't put it on. Don't put it on as she puts it on. Like, I, do, I look so ridiculous in flat bill hats. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to put this back. I really got to start getting a cart at all the places. I'm just kidding. I didn't have any. But I just came across these funky shorts. Uh, they're very unique, so I just decided to look them up, and I've never heard of the brand Aku. But there are some sold comps for some similar to these for like $25 to $30. And the pink tag is the discounted price of the week. So they're only $0.99. Cents. So $0.99 cents into like $25 or $30, I'll take that. So I was on the way to check out and I saw this little Magic Quest wand. This is like from the Great Wolf Lodge, which if you guys have ever been, it's super expensive. I wonder if this pink tag counts as 99 cents also. It's priced at $1.99 and this little top piece would sell them for about 20 bucks and then the bottom part of the wand, like you can actually unscrew these and put like, you can mix and match. But anyways, the bottom piece would sell them for like 10 bucks. So for two bucks, I might just buy it together and just sell the whole thing for 20 bucks. Add it to my little collection. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I should buy this next one for personal use. Wow, this thing's amazing. So I just looked up this little hex bot. It's like tombstone edition. I don't know. Is that right? Yeah. It's got the little Grim Reaper on there. It's priced at $14.99, but there was one that sold for $50, bucks, but all the other comps were somewhere around $30 with free shipping. So for that reason, I am going to leave it behind. But if this were at a yard sale for like 5 maybe even $10, bucks, i would probably pick it up. Yeah, I'd pay $10 bucks for it because it would be super easy to ship. But this one also has like a hole in the packaging too, which would affect it a little bit. So for $14.99, I'm going to leave it behind. Okay, so just really quick recap. I'm actually going to check out this time. And this is everything that I'm actually purchasing. I am going to go with the belt, especially just everything tiki I've ever bought sells and just heavy duty brass and it's vintage. So I'm going to take a chance on that. And then the shorts and these two hats. I'm officially home from the Peaches to the Beaches route sale, but don't worry, this is just part one of what looks to be two or three part series. In the next one, yard sales are to come, and I will be meeting up with part-time pickers Matt and Paul the Philly Flipper, and we're going to source some epic yard sales along this route sale. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That estate sale was definitely one of a kind and just super over the top. But we still managed to find some good stuff and some great profit, especially at $27. I hit the jackpot with that guy checking me out. Um, also, shout out to Holly. It was so nice meeting you. And also, B, thank you so much for the love and for filming that cool little clip of me checking out. Uh, as always, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you guys next Thursday with part two of the Peaches to the Beaches series.